Hello, I'm Brian Davis with Home Improved Man. I'm gonna take you through another tutorial today. In this video, we're going to be looking at draining a pond. Not the most exciting thing, but I found uh, my own little secret that no one knows but you now. I know it, now you know it. Of how to do it that's a lot less gross than the way you normally do it. So my pond has been sitting over winter, uh, filled, filled with leaves and snow and ice and my pond, it's a small pond, but it's, it also gets uh, um, living creatures in it. And so uh, I, I have found dead frogs in there in the spring sometime. And that's not something you want to be getting anywhere near your, your face, your mouth, inside your mouth. And the standard method for cleaning out a pond is to use a bucket to drain it out, but then it's always hard to get the last little bit of the water out. And so another method is to use the siphon. And the standard method of siphoning is to use your mouth to suction the water or any other liquid out of the hose. Even though I have a very long hose, I had found that I would end up with a mouthful of pond water, which was really gross. If you'll come over here and take a look, this is my pond after a winter of sitting in stillness. Oh, I thought that was a dead frog. It's not a dead frog. It's just, I don't think it's a dead frog, but it very well could be. And so you can see some dead worms floating around in there. And that's not the kind of water you want to end up in your mouth. Not only is it gross, it's probably, and I'm no doctor, unhealthy. Check WebMD to ensure that's actually accurate. What we will do is take this hose, stick it into the water, and then we will create a siphoning action, a suction pressure um, on the other end without using our mouth. The hose is in the pond. Now the other end of the hose is connected to the hose bib or the spigot against the house. I'm going to turn on the water and send the water through the hose up into the pond. And you will see the water, the movement of the water coming out of the hose. All right, here's where the magic happens. I'm going to turn off the hose. The hose will be full of water and I'm gonna disconnect the hose. And the, the, because the pond is uphill, as I disconnect the hose, it's going to draw the water out. So the water is draining out. The hose is still inside the pond and it is pulling the water out of the pond as I go. Now I'm going to move this under the hose further downhill to ensure that there's no high spots so that all the water will come out of the pond. So as you can see, the hose is still draining the water out, which means it's no longer just the hose, we, the water we put into the hose, it's also the water coming out of the pond. And I can leave it here, and it will continue to drain the pond. And if you come back, if you look at the color of the water, you can see that it's now brown. This is the pond water coming out of the pond. The water is flowing out of the hose. It is being drawn by the gravity of the water at the bottom end of the hose. So it will continue to pull the water out of the pond as long as this end of the hose stays submerged. So I, the only thing I have to do here is to keep an eye on it to make sure that this end stays underwater. Now I've already spent a little bit of time pulling leaves out of here. But as it gets near the bottom, it's probably going to run into some of those leaves, so I do want to pay attention to it. I have over here my leaf removing devices that I will put into good use once again, once I get to that level. As you can see, it's draining nicely. But sitting up here, you might wonder, is the water still draining out of the bottom? You want to stay at the top to ensure that the end of the hose stays submerged, but it can be difficult to tell if anything's happening. So, if you pull it out just a little bit, that noise tells you there's still suction, still being drawn from the bottom end. But as you can see, there's also some uh, debris in there, so I'm going to clear out that end to make sure that the flow is still happening.
I hope you found this video helpful and feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.